What I have here is a um, E8 Canadian Pacific. I picked this up at a uh, train show last year for $30. This thing is like brand new. I think it sat in a box an awfully long time. Anyway, the only problem is I have a, uh, looked like a five chime horn on the roof with a, one of the broken uh, trumpets. And I haven't uh, replaced it yet. I need to find out what, uh, which one they did use uh, properly at the time this was built. Anyway, this is unit number Canadian Pacific uh, 1802. Dual prime mo mover 567. Uh, is on the sound file and this is a Soundtrax Tsunami in the uh, purple pack. I'll start her up for you. Nothing terribly fancy about this. Uh, I managed to keep the original weight in there, um, but also to add a little bit of interest, unfortunately you probably won't see it on YouTube, is um, I put in two speakers. I used the Soundtrax 112 speaker, which is small enough to actually sit crossways at the rear, and just behind the cab I was uh, able enough to uh, fit in a sugar cube. I used also a uh, older golden white uh, LED that I put in for the front headlight. There is no rear headlight or ditch lights on this unit. Uh, it's extremely heavy. This thing's a good puller too. So uh, you've already heard the horn. I went with the 5 chime on here for now and I'll go into JRMI's Dakota Pro and change it when I get the proper horn done. bell. I did make some changes on here. Um, I used the uh, excessive reverb, or what, not excessive, additional reverb for the uh, horn and I also used the, um, uh, what is it, the equalizer to find the uh, uh, best suited sound uh, dynamics for the speakers and I went with the uh, boombox which is one of the handful of uh, different parameters that sets the uh, EQ for this so it has a throatier sound considering both these speakers are very tiny and uh, that's pretty well it this was uh, one weekend project Thanks for watching guys.